In today's video, we will showcase how to search, sort, and filter on Dynamics 365 Business Central. We will highlight all these features in our demo, and by the end of this video, you will be able to complete these functionalities on your own. Sorting and selecting information works quite easily on Business Central. Let's demo how this works. When we click on the Customers list, then if you click down the menu here, you can influence the sorting ascending or descending by clicking on the menu and changing it, but it's even easier to click on the field itself. You can see that you can adjust the sorting in this way. You can sort by the field number, the name, the balance, or the balance due. You can sort on all these fields that are available, and that is how sorting works in Business Central. Let us look how selecting works. If you want to select, the easiest way is to click Select More and to start check marking which records you want to select. In this way, you can sort and select in a very convenient manner. Here is how you can search for specific data on Business Central. If you want to find data, go to the list of the subjects that you are looking for. For example, if you are looking for a specific customer record, then you go to the customers list. There is a search function. That is the function that is going to search for data. In this case, let us assume that you are searching for a swivel chair. You will see just by typing in swivel chair, the search engine is going to start and look for a specific swivel chair. You can also search use a value that comes from the number field. You can type the exact number that resembles the item you are looking for. It's a user-friendly method that provides you with numerous categories to find a specific item that you are looking for. Sometimes you want to filter instead of search. Let's demo how to filter in Business Central. We can start filtering in different ways. The first way is that we go to Quantity on Hand. There is a little arrow to open a menu. If you click on it, we have two possibilities to filter. Filter and Filter to this value. If you click Filter to this value, Quantity on Hand is filtered with the value negative 6. Here you can see that in the Filters pane, this list is filtered by Quantity on Hand with the value of negative 6. If I want to remove the filter, I can click on the Remove field you see that I have a list again without filtering. If I right-click and select Filter, so not Filter to this value, but Filter, then I have to specify a value. Let us assume that I say 10, and there are two records where the Quantity on Hand field has the value of 10. I can click on Reset Filters, and my filter is gone. You can close the Filters pane like this. So we have seen that you can filter in this way. With the right-click, open the menu, and then select Filter or Filter to this value. You can also do it by clicking on Show Filter Pane, then start yourself by clicking on Filter List By, for instance, the field Quantity on Hand, and then you can also use formulas. I can say Quantity on Hand needs to be 10. Then I have two records bigger than 10. Or I can say 4. I have multiple records bigger than 4. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us and follow our YouTube channel for more content just like this. Have a great day.